In this session, we want to create a sales order, but prior to creating the sales order, we'll check to see if the items are in inventory before we actually place the order, and then we'll book the order once the order has been placed. We'll then ship the order by auto creating the pick confirm and the pick release, and then we'll view some of the transactions and also some of the reports that has been automatically created. We'll then run a workflow background process. We'll kick this off from the concurrent program. This is normally done automatically in the background and this will enable the system to automatically generate uh, an invoice. We'll then view the invoice in accounts receivable. From Oracle applications, you will log in with your username and password and select the order management super user. So I'm going to, I will first of all go into inventory and check to see if the item that I want to sell to my customer is in stock. So if I go into inventory, I select my on hand availability and my on hand quantity. I'm going to select the inventory that I'll be transacting from, which is the M1 Seattle Manufacturing. This is where the stock is held. So from the M1 inventory, Seattle Manufacturing, I'm going to search for the item. So from our list of values, I will partially enter some of the item code, which is AS5488. It's actually a, a desktop. So if I just click on OK, that will return back to me the description of the desktop and also um, the item code. By clicking on Find, it will then retrieve the details of the item where it's held in the sub inventory. So at the moment, we can see that it's in the M1 inventory. And if I expand the organizations from the materials workbench, I will be able to see what I've got in my on hand quantity. If I go to finish, finished goods, which is my FG, I should be able to see that we have some stock available. And in this uh, for this stock, we have 4,226 on hand. So I'm happy with that because I only want to sell two of these from the finished goods sub-inventory. I'll then log into order management. I'll select my sales organizer. Oh, sorry, I'll select my sales orders. So by selecting sales orders, the sales orders form will open and will enable me to enter some details about the transaction. I'm going to search for my customer, which is AC Networks. So a percentage, click on find, and that should return back to me all the customers that start with A. And I have A.C Networks. Click on OK. And that should default some of the information about the customer including the ship to address the bill to address the order type is mixed and once I enter my line information and save I should be I should be uh, the system should automatically assign uh, an order number for me I'm going to use the corporate price list and I'm just going to check a few details in the orders tab I can see additional information, for example, I can see payment terms, the warehouse from which the goods will be collected from, um, and some other information. For example, I've, I've got examples of the uh, shipping method here, which is using DHL. So if I select my line items tab, I'm able to enter some information about the items that I want to sell, and this will allow me to also enter information like the quantity and I can also review the price as well. Now you can see at the top here that it's actually given me a sales order number which is 66393. I've also got the availability form open which allows me to um, view information about the item once I enter the details. So my item number is AS54 888. I'm going to search 
search for it, percentage, uh, click on find, and that brings back information about the item, click on OK, and that should automatically populate uh, some details for me. So in the quantity I'm going to enter two, I just want to buy two of this, and I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit so that I can view the price which will be automatically populated from the from the price list which is the uh, corporate price list right this systems automatically entered the price list and I can see the price there and I can see some information about the the item in the warehouse it's telling me that um, I'm requesting two I've got an on hand quantity of four five two eight which is for the total warehouse um, I'm going to be looking at the uh, finished goods sub inventory. So if I scroll to the right, I can see some additional information. You can see that quantity shipped here is not entered. Once these goods are shipped, that will be populated. And I can also look at the details. For example, we've got the sales rep information, tax code. On the pricing tab, it gives me additional information about the prices the pricing, you can see the price list there and I can see some additional information coming in from advanced pricing module. From the shipping tab again I can see information about where the goods are going to be uh, coming from from warehouse, source type it could be it could be that we don't have the item in stock and we need to source externally and then also information about the scheduled ship date and the sh uh, scheduled arrival date that will depend on the shipping setup that we've set up and when we run the shipping transactions that will automatically populate and we can also see the quantity shipped there will also be automatically populated now we have address information and um, that's the address of the customer as to where the goods are going to be shipped to the bill to and the ship to address are also populated. Um, if it's a return, then the returns tab needs to be filled in with the reason for returning the goods. And if, for, if, it's, if it's for a service item, which could be for maintenance or um, installation items, that could also be entered as well. You have the orders tab for additional information on um, items for example, if it relates to a project, it can put, enter the project details in here as well. Once we're happy with the details, we click on the book order to book the order. And that will automatically book the order and then it will kick off the workflow, which will allow us to look at the details of the transactions as it's been um, flowing through the, the system. Once it's complete, you'll a note will pop up to say that order has been booked. Click on OK. And then it takes us back to the order information page, um, sorry, order information form. And I can go into tools and then have a look at the workflow. Uh, if I select my workflow status, that will allow me to view uh, the, the status of the transaction as it's flowing through the workflow process.